Hey guys, I'm Kat from Bibliobabes.ca, and today we are doing a video book review. We <laughs> can I have a mouse in my pocket. Uh, I am doing a video book review of Breathers, uh, which is this book right here. So, Breathers, S.G. Brown, Zom Rom Com. Zombie Romantic Comedy, published in 2009, 310 pages, and I give it a 9 out of 10. And this is the synopsis. Being alive can be difficult, but being undead opens up a whole new can of worms, or maggots, whatever your preference. From navigating the social scene to deciding what's for dinner, the everyday zombie has got a lot on his plate. When the newly risen Andy finds a love interest at his undead anonymous meeting, he must decide on whether he wants to stay in the past or rush head-on into his future. You know what I thought this book was? Fluff. The equivalent of reading a romance novel with a Fabio knockoff on the cover at the beach. But for people who prefer mutilation and vitera... Vis the vitera... <laughs> but... This, ugh, oh my god, why am I so terrible? Some days... Some days I cannot read anything that is on here because my writing is really shitty and I write in shorthand and I just... And then I glance down at the paper and I'm like, oh, it looks like I scribbled everywhere. Those aren't even words. I'm pretty sure that's a stick man, not a letter. So let me, let me try that one more time. <laughs> Basically, as I was saying, reading this is the equivalent of reading a trashy romance novel with Fabio on the cover. Um, <clears throat> but this is more for people who prefer mutilation and viscera over quivering thighs and fluttering breasts. I was getting through breathers awfully fast. Lots of action, cheap laughs here and there, and a writing style that encouraged a rapid read. Though I wasn't keen on the repetitive nature of certain phrases and sentence structures, it was all really silly and good fun and not all that cerebrally stimulating. My mind was wandering to my next book. And then it hit me. And by it, I mean S.G. Brown. I'm sorry I called you an it. It just meant sense in this. It made sense in the sentence structure. I'm sorry. Um, and by hit me, I mean smashed me in the frontal lobe in all the feeling and thinky spots. Fuck, man. It was basically like reading Twilight and then finding out the publishers made an error and replaced the last few chapters with The Hunger Games. <laughs> Suddenly, all the carefree fun and silliness was replaced by some dark-ass, disturbing, thought-provoking shit. But because the writing style never changed, it worked. It worked so damn well. Suddenly, my meandering seven-ish rating blasted up into a nine. Stories like Breathers are the reason why I'm glad I always read a book to the bitter end. And stories like <laughs> these are why I feel like my soul has been slowly pooling in my lower extremities and leaking out of my orifices. I don't even know what that means. Honestly, I have no idea what I was thinking when I was reading this. Um, the idea that zombies are people too is incredibly novel, and all the weird-ass shit the protagonist had to deal with was definitely eye-opening. If I wanted to read into it, Breathers could be a modern parable for the way we treat minorities, women, foreigners, and the homeless. It was the perspective of the perpetual outsider looking in, with slight hints of the perks of being a wallflower. And I definitely enjoyed all the nasty, decomposing, rotting, disfigured, mangled, violent bits. I enjoy a little gore with my helping of social reform, thank you. Breathers was the best of both worlds. A quick, easy read with a one-two punch to finish it off. Not for the faint of heart or the faint of spirit. Also, zombie sex. Nuff said. So, that is my review of Readers by S.G. Brown. You should probably read it just because it's incredibly novel and strange and really, like, it actually makes you think when you read it. You read it and you're like, oh, this is so fun, it's so fluffy, it's so light, and then at the end you're like, oh my god, it makes so much sense. So, read Breathers, enjoy it, and yeah, read on, homies. Thank you very much. My name is Kat from Bibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliobibliob
My name is Kat from bibliobabes.ca and happy reading!